Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Knockreiner. Today's story is April Patch Day. As usual, it's the second Tuesday of the month, which means both Microsoft and Adobe released a bunch of security updates. Starting with Microsoft, they released 13 security bulletins, six fixing critical vulnerabilities, and the rest fixing important vulnerabilities. The bulletins fix many vulnerabilities in things like Windows, both their Internet Explorer and Edge browser, the Office packages, the .NET framework, and one standout is Hyper-V, their virtualization hypervisor. So lots of vulnerabilities in many of their most important products. I won't go into all the details, but do know there's many remote code execution flaws bad guys could leverage by either getting you to go to a malicious website, interacting with Office documents, or interacting with various graphics. On top of that, one of the vulnerabilities fixes a version of Flash that Microsoft embeds, and it fixes actually that vulnerability that I mentioned to you last week. Long story short, if you're a Microsoft user, go check out these security updates and apply the proper patches as soon as you can. Now, Adobe Patch Day was a slightly less interesting. As you know, last week Adobe released a critical Flash update, which you do need to get if you haven't gotten it already. But for today's Patch Day, Adobe just released updates for RoboHelp and something called the Creative Cloud Desktop. Those are less popular than their Adobe uh, Flash and reader packages, but if you do use those products, you want to go get those Adobe updates as well. Anyways, that's it for both Microsoft and Adobe Patch Day. The simple takeaway is if you use these products, go get the patches. I'll be sure to have links to the updates in the blog post associated with this video. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.